Hola y aloha. My name is Valentina Haberman. I am your sit-in for today for Barbara Marisol, and I am with the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce board member. And today we have a special guest. Her name is Elizabeth Vargas, and she is with the Small Business Administration of the United States. I'm going to hand over the mic to her so she can introduce herself and our topic of discussion today. Miss Elizabeth? Thank you, Valentina. It's a pleasure to be here to share the SBA Low Interest Program for people that were affected by the wildfires in Maui. Thank you. And just for a little uh, background information, Miss Elizabeth, can you just kind of give us um, how long you've been in Hawaii and with SBA and just a little bit more of how this program was formed? Yes. Uh, well, uh, my name is Elizabeth Vargas. And I am a public information officer. We have been here since, I believe, a couple of days after the wildfires, right the day that the president signed a disaster declaration, a major disaster declaration for Maui. And we are here along with FEMA and all the federal agencies that open their resources for the Maui residents. Awesome. Thank you. I know that um, the damages and the death toll, they're still in counting. Um, and we just want to give um, our energy and our good thoughts to those there in Maui and those who have been affected not only in Maui, throughout the islands and throughout the nation with family and friends and associates in the area. So our hearts go out to you. And we are very happy, Miss Elizabeth, for you sharing about this program, about the programs that the SBA has developed and put together to help those in need. So let's get into it. Um, I know just to break down um, our agenda, we'll go over some programs. And Ms. Elizabeth, if you kindly would um, elaborate them also in Spanish for those of our listeners who um, Spanish is their first language, if you could kindly do that, that would greatly, we would greatly appreciate that. So sure. I know that there are different types of programs can you kind of give us a basis of um, who these programs are for? Yes, of course. Well, the program is one. It's, it's a disaster loan program for everyone that had damages. SBA offers low interest loans. These are, this is, these are assistant, assistance in a disaster for every, anyone. And uh, these are for homeowners renters, nonprofit organizations, and businesses of any size. And I'm going to say now in Spanish, a little briefing of what I have said. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Elizabeth Vargas. Soy vocera de la Administración Federal de Pequeños Negocios, SBA, por sus siglas en inglés. Estamos esta tarde aquí para darle una inducción sobre el programa de préstamos que la SBA ofrece para las personas que se vieron afectadas por los incendios de Maui que ocurrieron el 8 de agosto. Awesome. So you talked about the different types of programs and you said renters, you said business owners and homeowners. Let's break it down. Can we talk about the program specifically designed for renters? What can you tell me about that? Yes, uh, renters, anyone that was renting a home or an apartment and they suffered losses because of the wildfires, either they lost the total of their home or part of it. SBA offers loans for up to $100,000 to replace or repair their personal property. This may include furniture, uh, their clothing, anything that was inside their home and also their car. If they had a vehicle that was parked and, and it was damaged or destroyed by the wildfires, they can include this and this type of loans that they are eligible for. So it's up to $100,000. The interest rates can be as low as 2.5%, and these are for a fixed 30-year term. So it is important that everyone knows that renters are also included in this type of assistance that SBA offers. Anything that was inside their home, their personal property, they can get a loan 
for this so they can either buy them or repair them. Great. Okay, so these are this is designed specifically for renters. And you just to reiterate, you had mentioned that the interest rate for this 30-year fixed loan, correct? It's a fixed term? It, it is a fixed term. And it starts at 2.5%, correct? 2.5%, uh, 95% of the people will get this low interest rate. Great, thank you. Um, en español, por favor. Claro que sí. Para las personas que rentaban una propiedad, que eh, tenían un departamento, una casa, y perdieron todas sus pertenencias, sus cosas personales, tal vez sus muebles, eh, su ropa, o, y también su carro puede ser, pueden obtener un préstamo de hasta 100 mil dólares para reponer o reparar esta propiedad que usted perdió. Los intereses pueden ser tan bajos como 2.5% y por un plazo de hasta 30 años para que sus pagos les queden bajos. No se sienta solo, cheque este tipo de préstamos si usted era un inquilino en el área de Mau. Great. Bueno, thank you. I do also want to share is that at the end of our show, we will have the locations in which each individual can go to seek more assistance, more information, and even apply online. So we'll get that a little later, that information a little later. Um, so moving on, I know that you also had mentioned that the Small Business Administration provides um, business loans and also loans for nonprofits. Can we go into those details as what uh, what is covered? and also the amounts as well? Yes, uh, before that, I think I should go over the homeowner. Oh, okay, great, thank you. Yes, homeowners can get up to $500,000 to repair or replace their personal home. If they were living in a home uh, and they lost everything, they can get up to uh, $500,000 for uh, to repair the home or just to uh, be rebuild it. And also they can get the other type of loans for personal property as the renters, $100,000. So a total of 600 if they are eligible for the total amount of each of these loans. So they, you know, they probably also lost their furniture, anything, maybe their car. So they can get the $500 to repair or, or rebuild their home and $100,000 for their personal property. And these loans are the same interest rate as low as 2.5% for a fixed term of 30 years. Okay, 30 years. Uh, would you mind uh, translating that in Spanish as well for our audience? Yes. Los dueños o, o propietarios de una vivienda pueden obtener hasta 500 mil dólares para reparar o reconstruir su casa. Si usted perdió su casa, usted puede obtener un préstamo de hasta 500 mil dólares para reconstruir o reponer o arreglar la parte que se quemó o, o que se dañó. También usted puede obtener hasta 100 mil dólares para reponer su propiedad personal. Esto puede ser los muebles, la ropa, su carro, cualquier cosa que haya perdido. Los préstamos para los dueños de casa o, o propiedades de, eh, propietarios de vivienda son por un interés tan bajo de 2.5% y por un término de hasta 30 años. Great. Thank you. So just to, to summarize, there are two different programs, all for those affected in Maui uh, for damage of one is for renters for personal property, and the other one is for homeowners uh, to repair or replace their residence. And homeowners can also avail the renter program for personal property in addition to their home um, loan, correct? That is correct. And something very important, all the loans have a one-year deferment. No interest accrue and no payments are due until 12 months after their first disbursement. So they have about a year for no payments and no interest so they can recover from the disaster. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Okay. Um, so that those, again, that's for renters and homeowners on Maui. Okay, so moving on now, we'll move on to businesses and nonprofits and what the programs that the SBA has developed specifically for them. Yes. Uh, SBA offers low interest loans, business loans, or for nonprofits, also for physical damage. 
So if anyone had a business and it was destroyed, they can get up to $2 million to rebuild, to uh, uh, re repair or replace their machinery, anything that was in their, in their business, inventory, anything that they had that they lost. So they can get up to $2 million businesses and nonprofit organizations. The interest rate for businesses can be as low as 4% and for nonprofit organizations, 2.375%. The term is up to 30 years. And again, they have a one year deferment. No interest, no payments for 12 months after the first disbursement. Awesome. Would you translate that in Spanish as well? Yes. Por, eh, para los negocios, los dueños de negocio o los propietarios de una organización sin fines de lucro pueden obtener hasta 2 millones de dólares para reparar o reponer o reconstruir su negocio, cual, eh, cualquier cosa que hayan perdido, su maquinaria, su inventario, si tenían cosas en una bodega, todo, es, todo lo que era parte de su negocio, usted puede solicitar un préstamo de hasta 2 millones de dólares eh, para los negocios, los intereses pueden ser tan bajos como 4% y para las organizaciones y fines de lucro, 2.375%. El término es hasta 30 años y eh, también tiene un año de periodo de gracia. Esto es 12 meses. En los primeros 12 meses no se acumulan intereses, no tiene que hacer ningún pago hasta después de su primer desembolso, del primer dinero que le, que le entreguen, hasta esa fecha, 12 meses después, usted tiene que comenzar a pagar su presa. Great, thank you. Um, you know, we had a couple of questions in regards to reading over these programs and we're hoping that you can maybe provide some clarity or at least um, provide us guidance as to who to ask our questions to. So those in Maui, as we know, things were just taken from them in, in an instant. So when you say renters, homeowners, and even these nonprofits and businesses, when everything has been destroyed, how are they to fabricate their list maybe of itemized lists? Is there, do they, are they required documentation? And then what is the process to apply for, for such loan? Well, the first thing I will recommend everyone to go to one of our centers. We are at, at a disaster recovery center that FEMA and the state has in Maui. And then we have business recovery centers in Maui, Honolulu, Kauai, and, and the Big Island in Kona. So if they go there, there, we have customer service representatives that will help them and will see what they need. And we also have a resource partners that is the Small Business Development Center, SBDC, that there is one locally in each of the islands. They can go to them if they need to uh, create some documents that they lost or if they need to uh, maybe make some projections, they will have them projections of their business. Uh, to, to make sure, or if SBA requests some documents that they don't have, they can go to the SBDC and they will help them. There is no cost for these services, and they will also help them uh, to assess their damages, to uh, make a, a plan for, for the future, because we know some of them are going to be, well, they are probably overwhelmed, and they don't know what the next step will be for them. So they, we, they can guide them. And it is important for them to either go to one of our centers or call their local SBDC, Small Business Development Centers. They are our resource partners and they will work with any business owner that needs help. Okay. So yeah, that was something that we, you know, we wanted to put out there, which was um, uh, that there is support to help them understand what list of items they will need to supply to apply for the loan. And furthermore, the SBDC now will be able to help them fabricate these documents and come up with their list. So they're not on their own. So, and you said each island has a location, one on Maui as well. Okay, and we'll also provide this the county information at the end of the show. Great, thank you. 
Okay, and you had told our organization that now there um, are extended programs um, for those who are not just in Maui, but who have su suffered economic injury as well throughout the island. So can we talk about that a little bit more? What is this new program? When was this started? And maybe just kind of go over the parameters for that as well. Yes, well, the economic injury disaster laws uh, have been available from the beginning of the, of the disaster for the Maui business owners and nonprofit organizations. But it was extended, uh, I believe a couple of weeks later, it was extended to the other islands because we know that not only the businesses in, the, in Maui suffer, also the other islands, uh, they might have sales drop or they have, they might have clients in Maui that are not working right now or pro, uh, suppliers, anything like that, they can get a loan for economic injury. And uh, the, the businesses and nonprofits in Maui can get up to $2 million for physical damage and also for economic injury. It can be a combination of both. So whatever they have for physical damage and Another part can be for economic injury. Any income that they are losing right now because either they're closed or their business was destroyed, they can get also a loan. The interest rates, again, are the same as physical damage or businesses as low as 4%. For nonprofit, 2.375% and for a, a term up to 30 years. Now, as you said, uh, the extended uh, aid for the other islands is only for economic injury. So if any other, any business in the big island in Kauai, Honolulu have uh, losses due to the wildfires, uh, they can request or they can apply for a loan for up to $2 million for a, any expenses. These are working capital loans that they can use to either pay their lease, their mortgage, utilities, vendor payments, um, credit cards from the business, anything that, that are their uh, usual expenses for the business, working capital loans. That's what these are, the economic injury loans. The interest rate, again, are uh, as low as 4% for businesses, 2.375% for uh, nonprofit organizations, and the term is up to 30 years. So it is very important to emphasize that the, all, the whole state is eligible for economic injury disaster law. Okay, and that's a good one. Yes, the whole state. And so again, you said that these are for business obligations to include payroll, right? All right. Internal expenses, operating expenses, their lease, mortgage, okay, utilities, overhead. Exactly. Oh, good. Okay. Yes. Okay, and pay accounts payables as well, debts yeah. out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, these are working capital loans to help them pay for their obligations until the normal operations resume, you know, that through the disaster period, because we know it will take months, if not longer, for, for, for the economy to get back to normal. And is there a one-year deferment on these economic injury program as well? It is correct. We have the same 12 months from your first disbursement. That's when you need to start paying back your loan. Great. Could you go ahead and translate that tidbit for us in Spanish, please? Yes, of course. Bueno, los negocios y las organizaciones sin fines de lucro también pueden ser elegibles para préstamos por pérdidas económicas. Estos préstamos son eh, de capital circulante. Si su negocio está en Maui, usted puede solicitar un préstamo por daños físicos y también por pérdidas económicas, porque si usted está, cerró su negocio o pues se destruyó su negocio, entonces no está teniendo ingresos. Usted puede solicitar un préstamo hasta de 2 millones de dólares para recuperarse de, del desastre, para pagar sus obligaciones financieras de su negocio o de su organización sin fines de lucro, eh, o una combinación de los dos en el caso de Maui. En las otras islas, que sería Kauai, eh, Big Island, la, la isla grande de Hawái y Honolulu, puede usted solicitar un préstamo por pérdidas económicas. Si usted tiene, tenía clientes en Maui o algún, eh, algún suplidor 
o algún tipo de negocio y está teniendo pérdidas o simplemente sus ventas bajaron, usted puede solicitar un préstamo de hasta 2 millones de dólares. Los intereses pueden ser tan bajos como 4% eh, por un periodo de a, un término del préstamo de hasta 30 años y además va a tener 12 meses que no se acumulan los intereses del préstamo y no tiene que hacer ningún pago hasta 12 meses después de su primer dinero que recibe, del primer desembolso de la SBA. Okay, thank you. And really to reiterate, this, um, this economic injury, the business can be based out of Honolulu, can be based out of Kauai, correct? That has maybe clientele or employees or some type of relation to uh, Maui, correct? It is correct. Yeah. Okay, awesome, great. Okay, yeah. great, thank you. And can you provide us the deadlines, which is when did it open and then when is the last day to apply? Yes, uh, for the presidential declaration, we have 60 days from the date of the declaration. So in this case, it was declared, I believe, August 10th, and it is the deadline to apply for physical damage, only physical damage that will be the Maui residents. It, it, the deadline is October 10th. Oh, so okay. I will, I will uh, invite everyone to fill out their application. There is something important for, the, uh, for everyone to know. If you are approved for a loan, you are not obligated to take the loan. You can either take less money. If you need more money, we can work with you and see if, if you consider you need more money, we can work with you too. But it is very important in the case of homeowners and renters, the way it works, they register in Maui, they register with FEMA, and then if they get referred to SBA, they must fill out their application. Because if we cannot approve them alone, we might send them back. In most cases, we send them back to FEMA for the other type of uh, help, other type of assistance that FEMA may have for them. So it is very important for everyone that is referred to SBA in the case of renters and homeowners to fill out the SBA application. And if we can approve them alone, uh, they are not obligated to take the loan. They have six months from the date of their approval to decide if they need or take the loan. And um, the deadline for economic injury is until next year. That will be May 10th of 2024. And why is this? Because we know some businesses at the beginning they will try to use the resources to keep in business or to reopen, but in the long run, they might find themselves struggling for capital, a working capital, and that's when they will go to SBA. So they have all to May 10th of next year. So, uh, can you translate that in Spanish as well? So the deadlines are, and the, um, the fact that they don't have to accept the program or the loan as well would be very helpful. La fecha límite para solicitar un préstamo por daños físicos. Si usted es un dueño de una propiedad, de una casa, o un inquilino que renta una propiedad, usted no eh, debe de registrarse con FEMA, la, la Agencia Federal de Emergencias. Y si FEMA lo refiere a SBA, por favor, llene su solicitud. Porque si nosotros no podemos aprobarle un préstamo, podemos referirlo de nuevo en la mayoría de los casos a FEMA y ellos tienen o pudieran tener otro tipo de beneficios para usted. Entonces, es muy importante que llene su solicitud eh, de préstamo con la SBA. La fecha límite para estos préstamos es el 10 de octubre. Entonces, no espere, no tenga miedo a llenar su solicitud porque si usted es aprobado, no está obligado a tomar el préstamo. Para los negocios y las organizaciones sin fines de lucro, para préstamos por pérdidas económicas o daños económicos, usted tiene hasta mayo 10 del 2024. Todavía tiene hasta el año que entrar porque sabemos que algunas veces los negocios eh, pues tratan de, de, de usar su propio dinero, pero tal vez en, en un par de meses o un poco más puedan tener problemas, no tener suficiente capital, y entonces pueden acudir a la SBA también. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for joining us and sharing this information. This was, uh, we are here to help disseminate and help those 
um, in our sphere, as well as those connected to us, um, our family, friends, and our business associates. So we're very thankful for your time, Miss Elizabeth, and the support of the FBA. Thank you again. Please um, stay tuned after this interview. We'll also have the information as to where you can go to reach out for resources for more information about this program. Thank you, Elizabeth. It was such a Thank pleasure. You. It is a pleasure. Thank you.